Hi everyone, this is Menz here. I'm playing the tier 5 Russian heavy tank, the KV-220, which is very well armored on hull. has a little bit more armor than KV-1 on hull, but it does have the stock KV-1 turret, meaning that you basically can punch through it fairly easily. As long as if you don't hit the mantlet, you can go through it fairly well. As you see here, the gun doesn't exactly have a lot of penetration. But, you do have a lot of armor, so that kind of makes up for it. Basically this tank, if people do not know to shoot your turret, you are pretty much going to steamroll them. Because basically that kind of negates some of your gun's crappiness, and it allows you to get off a decent amount of damage. Mobility wise, this is actually a little bit faster than a KV-1, which you might be surprised at, only because the terrain resistance and other soft stats are pre-nerf KV-1, when it was split into the KV-1 and KV-2, which gives it a little bit more mobility. And he just got out of where I could hit him. Saved by the hill. Come on guys, go back to the flag! If we fucking lose... Okay, good, the ram's going back. No way I'll be able to actually make it back there. Kind of slipped my mind that that tank got around us and went back.
And that's why it doesn't matter how hard you try. Uh, he reset it. Thank God. I guess I should just hit his rear. I don't know why I was aiming for the turret. That is a last minute save. Thank God. But that is why it doesn't matter if you're steamrolling the team. You can still lose if you don't play as a team. Luckily, that ram and other guy noticed in time and went back. So overall, pretty decent game. It did 1500 damage, killed 6 tanks, and I soaked up a decent amount of damage too. And as you see here, you do make a pretty good profit on this. I did fire a few premium rounds, but overall, this does make a decent amount of credits. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my website, wotguru.com.